another question here that we're answering for, patient, for patients. So make sure you send your question if you have them and if we have an address here. This is great because we can always have uh, fresh content to show you and to discuss different points. This is a good question here is a lady uh, who asked the question, you know, she has reset, recession on her hairline here on both of the temples. She's had that genetically. There's no hair loss, she says. Her hair is not being lost anywhere else. She looks to be very young, but I haven't seen her in a consultation. I don't know her age. I haven't seen her skin or any hair. So I'm going by what she's saying here. Okay, so take that with a grain of salt. But she's asking if a transplant could actually help her restore her temples. She thinks that the recession on the temples make her hairline look too high and she doesn't like it it makes like she looks like she's balding but it's always been like that so the first thing to do is of course diagnose the hair loss make sure that there is no hair loss because if there is then we need to treat it a little bit different and institute medications and all that um, but to answer her question directly right the temples here are very uh, very good areas to transplant particularly in women because it's very natural and very normal that women will have some recession here too on the temples. We see it all the time. Sometimes genetic, sometimes as age advances and everything, it gets a little bit thinner, almost like a guy, but not bald usually, it's just thin. So that area can be transplanted very, very well. And she actually mentions one of the questions that she has, she has, she has very fine caliber hair. I'm understanding that she has very fine hair on the donor zone here. That's actually a good advantage for her because particularly when you look at the temples and she drew here lines, I mean, I would modify them slightly, but what she's asking is not unrealistic. And we do this a lot here. We harvest the finest hairs. Actually, we want to do the fine hair for the temples because they have to be placed at a very shallow angle and uh, a lot of single hair grafts to create a very natural, soft result. You don't want to have a lot of coarse hair here on the temples because it'll show uh, a little bit more. So fine hair for this procedure is actually very good now i always tell my patients fine hair it's great for natural results not so great for density you need a lot of hair to get a dense result but it looks very natural coarse hair the other end of the spectrum um, it's very good for density because you can get a lot more out of the hair as far as that goes but it can be tricky to make it look natural so as of the experience that i have i mean i know how to deal with both of the types of hairs but both of them have advantages and disadvantages depending on the experience of who's doing it for you. So I would love to use fine hairs for this area. So for her, I think she's an ideal candidate. One thing we might do is to try some minoxidil maybe to see if we can actually increase the density there naturally. But I think eventually if to get her to her goal, she will need a transplant. Very careful not to lower the hairline too much here on the, on the lowest point, in the central point. Apparently for what she drew, she does, she's not asking to be lowered too much. That's a risky area and has to be done very carefully. But the temples are a very good area to transplant. So I would think at face value that she's a good candidate for what she wants. I'll see you next time. Take care.